Shalom. And we are once again. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's pick right back up where we left off last time. I told y'all I wasn't going to cut her hair until we came back, y'all. You feel me? So let's go ahead and get right back to it. Pick up where we left off last episode. This is your first time pulling up to one of my playthroughs. Just know I do have light commentary or no commentary. So there may be moments where you don't hear me. You feel me? It's all good, man. Immerse yourself and let's get right to it. Yeah. Tell him. Hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not going to like this. Oh, no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Cutting off our locks. Oh my goodness. Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. <laughs> well, good. Good? Means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another valuable survival skill. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. But she sees I killed to protect, though. I killed to protect. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these that didn't give, back with That didn't give me a good option, Here, bro. I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There. All set. We kill to protect. She don't like it. Dumb. <laughs> no, you look cute and a lot harder to grab. <laughs> she don't like it. No. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad, Clo. Not too bad. <laughs> Checks camp. All right, let's head back to the front, y'all. Let's get this moving. Y'all talk to Ben? I ain't gonna leave Ben out like that. Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. Yep. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah. Did you do yeah. it? See you. Wait, hold on. What the hell? We still didn't find out who was actually um, helping the bandits, though, to be real. Can you ready to talk, Broski? Hey, man. You and me, we. Uh, oh, fuck. Let's just get to the ocean. Oh, was he finna say we we're done? Kenny. Wow. What was he getting ready to say, y'all? I thought I had his back. I mean, I know last week was a little weird, bro. But for real? What were you getting ready to say, bro? Uh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I just had a Red Bull. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. That shit was foul. Hey. Yeah? 
Still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. And if I get by you for a second, Kenny. Can you just leave me alone? Damn, Kenny. This to the point where he almost don't mess with me, yo. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure Cat would be uh, okay with you. So forget it. Okay. I got that fifth of Henny, though. Let Kenny go take some sips of that in the back, bro. Let him get his mind together, yo. Chuck don't need this. Chuck don't need this. If you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? No. Nah. I'm fine. Suit yourself. Need to stay sober. Need to stay sober. Make sure we're making a damn Chuck. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Yep, Kenny. Yep. All right. I, pff, I already knew it, bro. I'm a grown man my damn self. That boy needs him to take his mind off what just happened. Facts. It's still going to be there, though. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, that'd help. Damn, I can't chill with the fellas. Get out there with the fellas. Hey, what the heck? All right. There Good, was bro. a map of Savannah in the cab. That's where I would look. I'll talk it over with Clementine. Make sure she's got a sense of things by the time we arrive. Good. Mm. Okay. Be safe up here. You betcha. He don't need to know I did what I did in the woods. So I don't need to tell him that, you know, I did what I did. It's all good. I'm going to talk to Clem. Let's get our game plan together. Because Ben's out of it. Ben's out of it. Kenny's out of it. I just met this dude, Chuck, bro. So the only person I really have, bro, is Clementine. I cannot believe Lily took Carly from... Huh? You twerp. Giving the bandit supplies. I knew it, bro. You cost me Carly, bro. Right as I was getting ready to say her name. It's all my fault. You cost me Carly, bro. And we lost Lily. Bro. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend. That he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. Man, come on, bro. I'm done with this dude. I knew it was you. I knew it was you, bro. I knew it was you, bro. I knew it was you, bro. Thought you was gonna man up. Thought you was gonna man up. You waited all the way till we lost Lily. My sweet pea Carly. My homie lost his wife. Lil Kenny Jr. For you to finally say something, bro. Don't win, dude. Don't win. Don't give me no option, y'all. I'm gonna leave him in the dust. Don't win. I'm so pissed off right now. I ain't even finna lie, bro. I'm done with dude. Hey, Clint. Hi. I've been holding Ben down. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And I've been what holding him. Do when we get there. They don't know what to expect. They said he could don't. be bad or totally under control. Don't the thing do. is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. 
Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Where would we even look? I can remember where they were staying. Maybe they didn't go far. Clementine. Please, Lee. All right. Let's figure it out on the map, but a boat is the ultimate plan. Yes. They can come with us, right? Yes. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna wanna look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. A lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I... Alright, nice. You know... <laughs> Go ahead. Sure. Go ahead. Alright. You'll be safe then. Good. You know what I mean? I'm glad we have a plan. And you are good. If they're alive, it's not my responsibility. I got you all the way to them. Oh shit. Oh shit. Now what in the hell? <clears throat> fuck, 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 fuck! Kenny. Maybe we could walk. Put your emotions together, That's bro. That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Ben, shut up. I'm tired of you, bro. I, I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal <laughs> with that. We got a goddamn train. Thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's going to explode. You got to get a hold of yourself. There's a crew here. Mmm. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that, and you're going to get your face chewed off. Oh, you well, hello. Any trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Could be. Who are you? Two people who have a strategic position on you. Come on. Mm. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah. You're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. I hear you, Kenny. I hear you. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. Alright. <laughs> A group of guys is what we need. The music's yeah, not tense. I ain't too scared right now, y'all. For now. What about when stop it? Hey dude, I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh man. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! Clementine! Do you, do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! 
See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? God I mean, damn. Uh, no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? What does it matter? We've just been trying to get by together. Maybe find her parents. And everybody down there, they're cool? The f What's wrong with her, bro? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. How the hell are we going to get this big ass thing down? Without harming ourselves or exploding anything. Oh, got a scavenge. Whatever government work was going on here didn't seem to help. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check everything though. I still got this. Um. Oh, uh, I still got that tool in my inventory. Empty. That's what I figured. That's about the only useful thing in here. Some tape. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Okay. So what do y'all suspect then? Guys, this is old Mead and Krista. Look at being like he finna do something. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? It's time we move forward. Old Mead and Krista are gonna help and we're gonna get past this damn tanker. We're happy to stick around. We'll see about that. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone out might want to have it. a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Kenny's out of it, bro. Kenny's out of it, bro. I've never, I haven't seen my man broken like that, bro. I mean, he's broke. Got a clear view up there? Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. Shut up, man. Someone, anyone, to come along and, and exterminate them or something. Get used to them. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. Their numbers keep going up. And all Ours right. keep going down. I'm yeah. telling you, if they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Punch your own ticket? You're not gonna fight, Ben? Take myself out. Don't be dramatic. And don't let them get a hold of you. What's he talking about? I got two broken dudes with me right now, bro. Didn't they say check the gas station? I'm trying to get back there and check that, John. Okay. Look at the train station. Look at Chuck. Go up here. Bro, why are you standing like that? Zoe him. Can't stand. I can't I talk to you behind you, bro. Don't touch. Oh, mid. I 
said don't touch it, jackass. Teaching him anything? Trying to. Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said oh if something gosh. were to happen to me. Maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. Talk to He's you too later. eager to drive this train, bro. He way too and why is he standing like that? Get me out of here. My boy Chuck said <laughs> said in the vibe. I'm not understand oh the gas station's that way. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Come on. Permantine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Survivor. Oh no. Somebody must have been pretty desperate. Oh no. No, no, no. We need to check this out with Kenny. It's people in here, bro. <clears throat> You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? <clears throat> mm, won't burn. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? Mm. Uh, getting this door open is going to be tough. It might not be that hard. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. <laughs> that boy Lee had a snap out of character real quick. For real? <laughs> nice, nice. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. It's cool having Clementine with me. Oh shit, the music didn't change. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Hmm. Important decision. Important decision. Important decision. Important decision. It's too dark in there. Yeah. You should prop the door open with something. I need something. Hold on. Because I'm not getting rid of my weapon, bro. I'm not getting rid of my weapon, bro. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. Mm, I can't walk anywhere else. Oh, it's not a rock or anything. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're thinking. We're thinking. We're thinking, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
That paint has been dry for months. That's fine, but pick the can up. Pick the can up. We could use the can. Man, what's going on, yo? Hmm. So they not gonna let me outsmart them like that. That's crazy. I'm not trying to go too far. I'm just trying to see if there's a rock or anything around here. Dang, they really want me to give my weapon up. That's crazy. And I can choose to pick this can up right here and put it in between the door. Oh, my gosh. Oh. All right, y'all. I mean, I got my blammer, but still, like, it's always good to be quiet and go melee, you know? All right. I just walked around the whole, um, the whole spot outside, so I guess I'm going to have to put my it's weapon in the door. Dark. Yeah, you're right. Damn. I don't want to get my weapon up, bro. And I can't walk nowhere else to see if it's anything. Okay. <sighs> Shit. I'm not trusting this, bro. I'm gonna lie to y'all. Locked up good. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Here we are. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Shit. Behind you. Yep. Yep. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Give me that. Give it. Oh, this game on some bullshit. Holy! Hey man, put that back in there, y'all. I need all that. I need all that, bro. I need all that, bro. My bad, y'all. Grab the keys, Clem. Hey, they be catching you off guard, bro. Scoop. Behind you. Yep, I done died three times throughout the series. Yep. Come on, cook. Him. Him. Did I choose the wrong one? Let me mash. Let me mash. Yup. Let me mash. Yup. 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 Him. 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 What's up, baby? My bad, Lee. It's okay, Clem. And yeah, she got two fingers yeah, on the trigger. Okay. Everything's fine. She finna let one off, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Clemmy. Please, now. Huh. Fuck, it's still locked. What the? Open it. So good. I need Avil. It did not go so good, but we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought we, I heard a gunshot. We're good. What? You thought I killed the girl or something? Like, what's up with you? Get your mind you together. An eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Hey, bro. I'm finna punch her, bro. Wanted you to help out, we would have asked. If you two were to die in here, three dead turns to five. 
and that's my business. Good thing it didn't happen then. Why I'm is it always a female trying to put their thumb down on Lee? What is going on? Bitch, I what? You know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. Krista getting on my nerves, bro. Krista's getting on my nerves, bro. Oh, she's getting on my nerves, bro. Oh, she's getting on my nerves, bro. She's worse than Lily, bro, because she just so met me, bro. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? Make sure it's not now seen here. There's got to be something useful in here. That's it, Lee. <clears throat> bro, Chris is starting to get on my nerves, bro. Oh, she's trying. Oh, she's starting to drive me crazy. She just got here and she's down here throwing around weight. Are you kidding me, dude? Ain't no way she thinks she's gonna get away with checking me the like station. that. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. This dude here always eager, bro. Always eager. That's how Ben was. That's how Ben was. Man, he's not that way no more. Mm. Can I use that blue torch to get in there? Shit. I'm trying to use it for all means. <laughs> Alright, yep. Torch this down, baby. We didn't even need a help for this. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, Are you dude. kidding me? I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Tape. I got tape. I got tape. Ugh. Hope there's holes. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa. Thanks. You're a good man. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. You're a good man. I mean, don't I keep trying to... Oh, shit. Oh. His life is in my hands. His life is in my hands. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. What the f how did this happen? Oh no. Guys, Yo, we working coming. against time. What? Must be thousands. We gotta go! Fuck. Oh me. Cut, cut! I am! It's going! Pull me up! Pull him up, pull him up, Lee! Oh shit. Did he go? Shit. 
Oh, no. What the hell do we do now? Hold on. I'm smarter than the average bear. Throw that down there. Throw that down there. The yup. This works. Holy crap. Don't worry about it. Come on. We gotta jump. What? No way. Yes, yeah, so me. Nice. Come on. Have it your way. I will. You. Let's go, me. motherfucker. Oh! Shit! Ain't no way! Oh shit! Oh me! Oh shit! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Oh no! Oh no! Oh me! I got you, bro. No, I got sir, you, bro. What you mean? Krista, no. Oh my gosh! She's a woman, don't you know? Uh, yeah, you you don't have no leg. I'm okay. They mad at me, bro, but this dude can't even run. And he trying to tell me to save her first, bro. That's one of them yes men. That was a lot of them. The hell? No, we're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is spot. Shut up. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Next stop, the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. There's too much going on, bro. It's gotten too bad, you know? You, me. Nobody could take all this. But we have. What we're supposed to do isn't clear anymore. I'd give anything to go back to fighting over the motel. Ain't no way. <sighs> Me too. Ain't no way! You to your thoughts. That's the game you telling me I should have stayed at the motel. Like I should have stayed there in the first place. Damn. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, the other person that got this talkie is Glenn. What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here, and you oh, sure find me with a my God. Now, what? I mean? Holy what? I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Well, it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Who has she been talking to? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Clemmy, no. Oh damn. We're almost at the river. You wanna get on a boat? Or you wanna wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? We need to focus on finding the boat right now, Clem. Like we talked about on the train. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? 
You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you! Oh, damn. This is getting good. <laughs> oh, this is getting good. Now, as we always do, um, at the end of these episodes so far, I want to talk to y'all about my decisions. It said, did you shoot the girl in the street? 60% of the people shot her. Oh, they said you and 60% of the players did not shoot her. Okay, I'm remembering what's going on back when we were in Macon. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't shoot her, bro, because if we would have shot her, bro, uh, it would alarm a whole bunch of zombies for one. Uh, for two, it's a sniper. You know what I'm saying? It was way too many zombies in the street, and she had already got bitten uh, from the zombo underneath the car. Okay? It said, Did you abandon Lily? You and 55% of the players did not leave her. Reason being why I did not leave Lily behind, bro, it would not make me, like, I would not be, I wouldn't be better than her. You know what I'm saying? I would basically be murdering her, leaving her out for the uh, for the walkers or whatever the case would be. I wouldn't have been no better than her. So, yes, we brought Lily with us because at the end of the day, we didn't know what really to do with Lily. There was no reason for her to kill Carly, bro. So it wasn't like she did something to a bad person and then now we need to justify it or whatever. No, what she did was non-justifiable at all, bro. At all, bro. Did you fight Kenny? You and 45% of the players talked him down. Damn, who all snuffed Kenny in the... <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all weird, bro. Y'all weird, bro. Can't be y'all friend. I'm going through something, bro. He was going through something. He had every right to be emotional. He had every right to be emotional. For you to snuff, dude. I don't know what would have happened, I guess, if you would have snuffed him. I don't know. But for you to snuff your homie in a situation like that, bro, you, hey, you're a coon. You're a coon. I don't care. Nobody say you're a coon. He would have had to snuff me to let it take it out. Now, if he would have took it past one punch or whatever, then, yeah, we would have been in there fighting. But, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to cap. At that time, I just shot his son and cost him the loss of his wife. I, for one, could have took a snuff from my own boy. Just one. But y'all snuffed him out? That's crazy. Did you shoot Duck? Yeah. I had to shoot Doug, bro. I wasn't I wasn't gonna let him turn into a zombie. I wasn't gonna let him turn into a zombie. What if I would have let him turn into a zombie? Kadja would have been alive or whatever the case may be. And then this horde of zombies would have pulled up on us and um and uh uh Duck Duck was in the uh horde of zombies, bro. What if? I probably would have lost Kenny and Katja then at that point. You know what I mean? So like I had to go ahead and put him out of his misery. Uh, did you help Omid? You and 60% of the players helped Omid. I mean, yeah, bro. It's it's obvious, bro. He had a freaking broken leg. And I don't know if he would have had a broken leg if I would have let him jump by himself. But either way, I feel like it was my duty to save him from then on because I pushed him. Yeah, I'm going to save him. I ain't going to lie. And Crystal was getting on my motherfucking nerves. You feel me? Ah, this has been a Don. This has been one hell of a uh, chapter. Pull up next week for chapter four. You feel me? Yo, tell them we out this time.